strategy quite a bit for Pacquiao now because this is going to be a war of attrition with a cut opening up over his eyes. He got the worst of that clash of heads. Now he gets a little more busy. Marty Deacon telling him, keep him up, keep him up. Left hand backs Pacquiao into the ropes from Sanchez. Now Pacquiao's covering up a bit and countering. Now he backs Sanchez up. Stop! 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 You can see that Pacquiao stop. is blinking his eyes a little bit. A lot of blood spewing out of that eyebrow on the right side. Hard to see. It's going to be difficult to see, so he could be vulnerable to the left hand from Sanchez. Sanchez trying to finish this thing off if he can. Big wild cut that missed by two stop. feet. In the second round, scheduled for 12. Manny Pacquiao, the world champion of the IBF, is bleeding quite a bit from that headbutt he suffered in the second round. Sanchez goes downstairs with the body, trying to work combinations. Sanchez goes to finish off what the headbutt started in this round. Under 40 seconds coming up. Round two, crowd acknowledging a great fight. Two great fighters out there. Very active. Sanchez continues to throw. Pacquiao is looking for some kind of big shot because he's a bit of trouble with the blood streaming into his eye. He can't see very well. You see he's flicking the blood away with his right glove. Tries an uppercut. Crowd reacting to the uppercut. Came from a different angle that time. And I tell you, some, some corner wanted him to go more to the jab, but once you get cut like that in the headbutt, Pacquiao's probably thinking, I may not, this thing may not go the distance stop, in this situation. Stop. Stop. We'll see if they go to work on him right now. Ruben Gomez is the cut man. He's going to have his hands full over there trying to stop this flow. Oh, that's a wide one. That's too... Oh, feel, feel, feel. Let's take a look at what happened. That is a nasty looking cut. It's Pacquiao's fault, more or less, coming in and missing, and his momentum carried him right into Sanchez's head. So, it was more or less his lunge that caused this. He's that type of fighter. He's going to be aggressive and come straight in like that. But Ruben Gomez going to work, trying to put the stop bleed on it. There's some Sanchez going to work here. Sanchez picked up the pace after the headbutt, seeing that Sanchez was having trouble seeing out of that right eye. Sanchez working behind the jab. It's hard to tell who has the power advantage, but you see Sanchez flicking that. He'll, he'll continue to work on that right eye if he can. We go to round three, schedule 12. This is a unification bout of the WBO and IBF junior featherweight title. Low blow. Down goes Pacquiao. Marty Dinkins been talking to him. There's a warning being given to Sanchez. Probably the next time. Now Pacquiao can take a little more time if he wants, but he didn't elect to take more time. He's okay, but he did go down on that low blow. Now he's coming out trying to find the mark. And he comes over the top with a nice left hand. And now he's flicking that jab like his corner asked him to after round one. But the blood is really pouring out of that huge, gaping gash over his right eye, just below the eyebrow, that soft tissue area over the eye. They'll be monitoring that the entire stop, night. Stop. This is not going to be a pretty sight as this fight goes on, that eye of Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines. Good punching inside, but missing the mark. Sanchez lunging in, almost another clash of heads. That guy comes in to throw punches. He's splitting with his right eye a little bit as the blood continues to flow, and it's hard for him to see. He's basically fighting with one eye right now. Halfway through round three. Don't believe it's going to go 12, but we'll see. That guy does not like to go the distance. Stop. 
This is Pacquiao's 12th title fight, first defense. What is last seven by stopping this? Here we go. Good straight right followed by a left. Sanchez has to right, clutch and grab because those went whiffling by his ear. Determined, you can see him grimacing as he's trying to land some effective punches. Sanchez was standing there for a second. His head was leaning forward a little bit boldly out there. I was unable, unable to see it or take advantage of it. Sanchez continues to throw hard punches. Right, stop! Stop! Marty Deacon sending back out of the corner. One point taken away from Sanchez now. Another low blow. So that could be a very telling point in this fight. Even though the bleeding is coming from Pacquiao, Sanchez has just gotten a point taken away for a second low blow. Now there's another one that was right on the line. So Marty might have a little talk with Sanchez. Pacquiao will go to that corner and see how they're working on that eye. But that could be a very important point in this match. With a point taken away, Toward the end of round three. One point. Let's yeah. take a look at the low blow that sent Pacquiao down to one knee in the corner. He didn't take long to recover. That kind of lifted everything up, but you can see immediately it affected him. And here he's oh boy. Definitely a low blow below the belt line. And Pacquiao goes back to work later. Because he's a very aggressive fighter. Those of you who have not seen him before, this is only the second fight in the United States. The last one was when he won the title in Las Vegas back in June. But interesting situation in this fight has developed because of that point being taken away. Remember what I told you. From Sanchez. Sanchez is nine years older. Olympio This is his 42nd professional fight. 20 knockouts. Seven losses on the Sanchez record. Pacquiao was 33 and two, 24 knockouts. Pacquiao is in the red and blue trunks. Sanchez purple and gold. And we're in the fourth round scheduled 12 unification fight. WBO and IBF Junior Featherweight Championship. There's Pacquiao back and Sanchez in the corner. Break, break, and now they close. Sanchez given up a few years and he's been quite active in the first three rounds. Usually not a factor in the lower weight classes, though. They're always shape. Back out trying to unload now. Right, right, Marty Dinkins stepping in, taking a look at what's going on. Great, stop, stop. See, uh, Sanchez taking a little punish, but then he goes in and he holds. Sanchez going on deploying a little wrestling move there. Marty doesn't like it too much. Marty Dinkins, one of the most revered refs in boxing, knows his business. Sanchez continues to flick the jab and then Pacquiao's been effective when he did work his fat double up his jab, but he, he's always looking for big shots. Sanchez is not going to stand and have another low blow that Pacquiao is complaining about. But it wasn't a very hard shot. Pacquiao stepping in, throwing combinations. He's a warrior. Pacquiao's going to continue. That's his break, style. Break, stop. Here comes Pacquiao stalking across the ring, trying a little uppercut inside, but basically stop, stop. trying to land the hardest shots he can. Sanchez is trying to step inside and hold a little bit. And Marty Deacon warning about the head butts. Watch out for the head. I don't know how much more damage. That eye's holding up really well for him, considering how bad it's cut. The pack out, not a fan. There's another takedown. Sanchez, that could injure a fighter. Uh-oh, injury. Pack out is injured. Looks like his leg. Five minutes. Marty Dickens is going to give him five minutes. Pack out could be seriously He's not happy with himself. He's got a hurt leg. I don't know exactly what it is. Knee? Could be his knee. 
Things were getting a little ugly from Sanchez. He had low blows in the last round, and then in this round, he did a basic takedown, and now you can see 